hello everyone in the last video we saw how to install vault and run the vault in dev server mode in this tutorial we will run vault using a docker so this video is optional but if you don't want to install vault in your local system okay then you can run the vault using docker commands also so this tutorial is for those who want to run docker run vault using docker so we have an official image of our vault okay so this is the page okay uh, uh, to pull the image we have to run this command okay and i hope uh, the prerequisite prerequisite for this tutorial is that docker is installed on your system if not you need to for you need to install docker first so once docker is installed okay we can run this command to run the uh, to pull the latest image of vault so it will pull the latest image of vault here it is so once the image is here we can check the images so we see that the vault is uh, we got vault the tag is latest the image id is here so once we got that so now we can run the vault with the run command vault uh, we would like to name the container as vault and the port on which we want to export vault is a200 and the default port is also a200 and the image that we want to run is vault latest right so if you run this command it will run the vault server in dev mode where the state of the vault is in unsealed position okay it is already in unsealed state so we can interact with the vault and it will also provide a root token for the authentication purpose with vault so i'm going to run this command that's it so as i said see so it has an unsealed key so it is already unsealed okay and it also provides a root token so these two things will be provided at the at the first time we run this first time we run this uh, docker image docker vault image from the second time onwards this it will not show up these two keys so i suggest you to copy these keys and store in some uh, some place in your system i am going to um, take a note of these things in notepad for now okay so to uh, uh, then we need to set the environment variables see here it suggests that we need to set the environment variable to this address so we will be listening all the api requests on this port so we need to explicitly set this so we need copy and we need to open a new terminal these steps are similar to what we did in the installation step in the last video but this time we are using docker that's it so we export this port and the next we need to export vault token so we have token here i just copy from here paste it and enter once these two are set we can check the status of the vault server by running the vault status command so this states that the vault server is up and running so it the sealed state it is in false so that means the state of the vault server is in unsealed status so we can make communicate with vault and uh, storage type is in memory okay right so th the next thing is um uh next uh, in the next video we'll look at into how to interact with vault and uh, uh, how to store secrets in vault so i'll see you guys in the next video